Throw me the football. You're watching Aces recap of Rivals Challenge 3. Aces Rivals 3 Challenge Recap. I'm Devin Walker, everybody's favorite. How we doing? That's what I thought. Well, the episode starts with me drunk at the bar. Not really understand it. But feeling like the man ain't Not knowing who to trust Feels like the vet's ganging up And my patience running thin So you're going in and you're going in and you're going in and you're going in So in conclusion, I'd like to thank all the haters for hating Because it only makes me want to continue to be better than you And everybody that watches the show, thank you so much, I mean Watch me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hey y'all, hey, what's up? Ace here for episode seven recap of the challenge Rivals 3, and I am all decked out in my Johnny Bananas swag, banana swag, and I'm ready to take on this recap. Are you guys ready? My dog is currently climbing up my pants. Her other mom is gone and she's not liking it. No, she's not. So, you'll hear a bunch of tip, tip, tap, and a tip, tap, tip, 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 and that's her running around everywhere. But anyway, let's get right into it because I don't wanna take forever today. Look at my banana hammock shirt. You gotta love it. Love my new bananas hat, you like it? Fresh to death, right? Yeah, you guys can get your own. Go down in the description, the link will be down there. RealJohnnyBananas.com, get you some banana swag. New stuff everywhere, and it's great, I love it. Look at this shirt, it's a banana hammock! Okay, I'm so excited. Anyways, first I wanna give a huge shout out to Devin from Are You The One for making that awesome intro for Rivals 3. Welcome to our show. I thought I liked you last episode. Not so sure about this one, but I'm gonna give you a pass this time. Um, that doesn't mean I'm gonna go easier on you, it just means I'm gonna give you a pass because you decided to make me an intro. So you get an ace pass for good behavior, even though your behavior was very bad. Very, very bad in this episode. But thank you for making me an intro anyway. Guys, go follow him at all his social medias down below. You'll find the links down there. And let's get into the recap, shall we? Yes. Party at the club time. Party at the club time. Party, 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 party. Party at the club. Party at the club. Party, party, party at the club. Party at the club. Party. Party. me when the episode started it was like party at the club time I just fucking love it I love it so much you get me bro speaking of Tony he's all pissed with Camilla because he doesn't think that she has any respect for him so he talks to her and he's like but from here on out and I think we'll go far if we do this from here on out can you just give me like a little like a little attaboy <laughs> a what attaboy that's weird to say who asked somebody if they can just give somebody else a little attaboy Anyway, Devin is wasted, and Cheyenne thinks that he just needs to shut the fuck up and try to blend in, okay? No! Never give up on love! Should have stopped like four drinks ago. But hey, I have that problem too. Corey and Shia are having a nice little conversation, but she can't pay attention to shit because Devin is being such a fucking asshole. He's running around with his zipper undone telling Corey he's on the chopping block. I don't think he knows what show he's on, and I think he thinks he's on Chop Toddler Edition. Who's next on the chopping block? It's dead. I'm just sitting back, just listening to this dude do this all night. And I'm getting tired of it. Meanwhile, Devin's walking around like, You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. All of you are out. I think he thinks he's on Chopped and he also thinks he's Oprah. You're gonna get a car, you're gonna get a car, you're gonna get a car, you're gonna get a car. You back there get the car, everybody get the car. Brand new car. 
Then he goes in on Kellyanne and Jamie ain't having that shit. He gets up in his face. Devin, I know you think you're tough because you're from fucking Massachusetts, but you're not tough. This dude is all up in everybody's face. Everyone. Now he's on to Wes. Dude, I will never do you a favor. Never do you a favor! I think I missed the part where Wes asked him for a favor. So now Cheyenne is getting annoyed as shit because her partner just will not stop fucking with everybody. The next thing you know, Corey is running up on his ass to save the day. People pull them apart quickly, but Corey just wishes that he could have beat the shit out of this guy. Devin's lucky. If it wasn't about the money, uh -huh. Back at the house. Corey and Devin are outside and Devin just keeps pushing him and poking him and pushing him and poking him and Corey's gonna fucking crack. He starts to take off his goddamn shirt. Anytime we wanna do it, we can do it. I'm not afraid of you. Why are you antagonizing people? Cause that's what I do. I antagonize. Put that on your dating profile, bro. What's up? I'm Devin from Are You The One and I like to take long walks on the beach. Throw a little beer pong and antagonize people. Back inside the house, Tony is taking his shirt off and screaming every curse word fucking imaginable because he can't stand Camilla. Mother Now he's made his way into the kitchen where he's screaming at her about how she doesn't give shit about him and her hugs don't mean anything. What were people drinking at the club tonight, you guys? <laughs> Seriously, give me some of that. Go fix your alcohol problem! I'm gonna jump off every fucking height, but I still don't get no fucking credit! Go to sleep, you idiot! Go to bed! Immature bitch! <laughs> Tony slammed those fucking eggs, dude. He took a fucking wow! I fucking hate eggs! Fuck eggs! Fuck Camilla! I don't want them scrambled! I don't want them fried! Fuck you! And I'm out! Fucking immature bitch! Wow. <laughs> Camilla's in the kitchen talking about it like... It's like if you're that much of a... Ugh! Wuss! That you need me to be like, Oh, you're so great all of the time! You're so perfect! And good job! A plus! Yay! Like, no. The next morning. Producer wakes up Camilla and tells her that she needs to call her sister and that it's important. And when Camilla gets on the phone with her, her sister lets her know that her grandmother has passed away. She can't go to the funeral, so she's just gonna try to stay in the game and make the money to bring back to her family. Very sorry for your loss, Camilla. Big hugs from Ace. It's challenge time! The challenge is called a road to nowhere. It's a 400 feet cliff that they're going to have to drop off of on a cart together and try to pull down flags on their way off the side of this cliff. And the flags are worth different amounts of points. Whoever gets the most points the fastest wins. This is so much fun to watch. This is one that I kind of wish I could have done. Scary as fuck, okay? Because I don't want to fall off the side of anything. But fun nonetheless because I like things on wheels. Wes and Nani go first and they only wind up getting one green flag worth five points. Smashly and Cory go next, but first, let's hear a little story about Smashly's driving skills. I don't really have the best driving history, so one time I drove my car through a house, <laughs> so I hope that doesn't happen. She has to stay straight. There's no house in her way to drive into. She just has to keep it nice and straight, and we'll do good. They also only get one green flag on the way down. This looks super easy, but it's one of those things that looks super easy, but then it's actually super difficult. I mean, except the falling to your death part. That part does not look super easy. Cause then Vince and Jenna go next and they do the exact same thing. One green flag. Here go Sarah and Bananas. They wind up doing better than everybody so far because they get a green flag and a yellow flag, bringing them 15 points. Devin and Shy got one yellow flag worth 15 points. Christina and Pussy Ass Nate go and they somehow pulled off a red flag and a yellow flag, bringing them 25 points. Their heads are gonna get real big, real fast if they win this. Dario and Nicole go, and he starts pushing her, and he's pushing her like way too fast, and they get tripped up, she like falls over on the thing, but they get it back together, and they ended up getting two greens and a yellow for 20 points. Kellyanne and Jamie go, and as soon as Jamie jumps on the back of this thing, Kellyanne falls off the front, until the end when they get to the drop, and they fall off of the cart thing, and this happens. <laughs> and then TJ comes to let them know that nothing that they just did counted at all, because they were actually walking walking and grabbing as they fell off the cliff instead of staying on the cart, so ugh, that's not good. Nelson and Amanda go, and I thought they did good at first because Nelson grabbed a fucking red flag, but he didn't just grab the red flag, he grabbed the whole fucking pole with him, and you can't do that shit, so 
Moving on, Camilla's not really excited about the challenge or anything today because she's not excited about her partner, she's not excited about the news about her grandmother, she's not excited about the challenge. Tony, on the other hand, is stoked about it. I'm thinking money, 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 money. I'm still not even blinking. Eyes wide open, set on the goal of grabbing this red one. And he gets it. He totally gets the red one. So good job, Tony. Money, 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 money. At the end of it all, I can't believe it. Pussy ass Aiden and Christina pull this one off, and they are the wieners of this challenge. And Kellyanne and Jamie are the losers at the power couple dinner. I'm just thinking, how the hell are these two little nuggets gonna pull off being intimidating to anybody else in this house when they call people down and talk to them? It's like being scared of fifth graders. So they call down Tony and Camilla and they want to let them know that because Camilla and Tony did not say anything about stealing their token coin key on the last challenge, um, that they're thinking about throwing them in. Tony and Camilla are not happy about it. They're just like, you know what? If they throw us in, we're we're gonna make their lives a living hell when we come back. They call down Nelson and Amanda to see where their heads are at, and Nelson's basically telling them everything under the sun. They don't ever plan to throw them in, and if they were them, they would throw in one of the vets and keep everybody else because that's what the vets are gonna do to them. So basically he's telling Nate and Christina not to pick him, to pick a vet and make a move. Afterwards, Camilla goes and sits down with Christina and she's talking to her about how she's liked her since the last challenge and she has her back and she cries and she apologizes for stealing her coin token key on the last challenge on accident. And she tells her that she'll respect any decision that she makes in the jungle, but to be careful because people are going to tell her whatever they think she wants to hear, not to have to go into the elimination. Nomination time. Nate and Christina make their first pick and it's Nelson and Amanda. And then on their second pick, they pick Devin and Cheyenne. So basically they're going after their own people. Nobody is the one here, okay? And it's just hilarious to me. Now Amanda's standing in the front with TJ and everybody and she's just talking a bunch of shit to them about how they should have picked Camilla and Tony basically because they fucked her over and they're just gonna fuck her over again. <laughs> Jamie's standing up there and he's like, are you guys scared to go against us? If not, then just kinda, can you shut the fuck up, okay? We don't need to hear all this bullshit. Welcome to the jungle! Yeah. It's time to pick skulls to see who is not the one. For reals. I'm sending so many black skull vibes to that box. Nelson and Amanda, I love you guys. Like, not really, but I can tolerate you. But I really want you to pick a black skull. You're not alone. And then it happens. Amanda totally picks the black skull. And I'm like, yeah! I wasn't quite that excited, but that's how I felt on the inside. So it's Amanda and Nelson versus Kellyanne and Jamie in this elimination round at the jungle, and I'm just pumped because I just know that Jamie and Kellyanne are gonna pull one out for me. Nani thinks that Cheyenne and Devin are very lucky. Cheyenne and Devin have like a lucky stick shoved up their ass or something. They're seriously escaping every jungle they've been put into. I just can't believe it. So this jungle doesn't look fun. It's called chill out. What you have to do is you gotta get in an ice bath with your partner and you gotta sit there for a minute. Then you gotta get out, figure out this puzzle um, of blocks and circular discs. And you gotta make it to the top of the line uh, with your with your masterpiece or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. If you don't, in those two minutes, and you gotta get back in the ice bath and freeze your balls off a little bit more for another minute and then try again until somebody gets it and that team wins. But both teams are cold. I just want you guys to know that while I'm filming this, I'm talking to Devin and about, about the intro. And he, it, I'm gonna call him out because he says, does it all need to be in one shot or can you edit a few short videos together? Cause I'm not gonna do some lame bullshit ass intro like the other duds. I don't know if he meant dudes or duds, either way. <laughs> well you go on with your badass self. You wouldn't wanna be another dud. Another dud fucking around doing dud like things. Cracks me up. Kellyanne's super stoked for this jungle. I wanted to just be able to get physical with someone. We're not here because we're strategic. <laughs> Damn it. I'm just gonna pee on myself and hope that helps. He's gonna pee on me and hope that helps. That's pretty much my plan. That's my plan too. <laughs> so they all jump into the ice bath and guess what guys? Jamie is peeing already. <laughs> Oh my god. They all get out after a minute and take a stab at the puzzle. It looks like Nelson and Amanda really have a good strategy going on and they're building it up faster than Kellyanne and Jamie are at this point, but nobody gets it and they all have to get back in the ice bath. Ooh. I would do absolutely horrible in a bath of ice. I mean, I don't even like when the pool's too cold. Get out of here, I couldn't do it. 
<laughs> I've missed you, Jenna. Speak more. God damn it. So Nelson and Amanda look like they're getting it together, but their shit looks wobbly as fuck. Like you could blow on it and it would just like crumble to pieces. Kellyanne and Jamie realize that what they were doing first is not what they are supposed to be doing. And then they realize what Nelson and Amanda are doing and they're turning those little discs this way to make the planks higher. And so they start doing the same thing. But before they can get it, they're back in the ice bath. And Jamie's all like, my wiener hurts. Sounds like a personal problem. They get out, it's down to the wire now, and they're both working, and they both think that they got it. And it's like a hair in the mouth. Nelson and Amanda think they've made it to the red line where they need to be. But just as they are, the entire thing falls over. And I'm just like, I fucking knew it. I knew it. And then two seconds later, Kellyanne and Jamie, and the jump. And I'm so excited because bye, bitch. So happy for you to go home. You are not the one. Neither is Nelson. I'm sorry about the sappy shit you said at the end, but I really don't care. I'm just glad that you're gone. One more are you the one team down, okay? I'm just so stoked about that, guys. So stoked. Stop! So I'm aware that this recap wasn't all that in a bag of chips, but um, not a lot happened except for drunk Devin in the beginning, which we covered. <laughs> okay, and um, Drunk Tony, which we also covered. Love you guys' faces. Can't wait to see you next week for another recap. Huge thank you to Devin again for that awesome intro. You were not a dud. You were not a dud. I am here with you. Don't want to sing the rest of that song. I just don't even know where it came from. So go get your banana swag on. Down in the description, click the link. Buy yourself something cool. You know you want to look like me. And uh, respect the banana hammock. Don't forget to like this video. Hit it with a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, all the social medias that you can even think of. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already because I'm watching you. And if you don't, I'm going to be very upset. And I'm going to haunt you in your dreams, in your sleep, under your bed, at your mom's house. I don't know, but I'm going to be very mad about it. So click it. And I'll see you guys next week on another recap of Rivals 3. And until then, you know the drill. Peace out. Hey guys, you know who it is. Well, if you don't, I'm Ashley from the Challenge Rivals 3. It's my rookie season. I'm the wild and crazy one. You can follow me on all social media at MTV Ashley Brooke. Right now, you're watching Aces Recaps. I hope you enjoy it and get as much of a laugh as I do. Bye, y'all.